Hi there, so this is going to be a quick demo of how Warp Drive can help with QA testing. So let me first sign in into the Warp Drive app. And so this is the main dashboard uh, for the app. Uh, and right now, it's just like this is a clean account. So there's a few things in demo, a few things in teams, a few things in personal. But before we dive into Warp Drive itself, let me set the stage. So uh, imagine that you are a QA test engineer at Gusto, uh, the popular payroll management software. And the engineering team at Gusto is making a massive push to roll out some new features. And you've been tasked to monitor the site's correctness every day. And let's say as a QA test engineer, you specifically are responsible for checking that users are able to download and see their W2s and company admins can download forms as well. So now every morning, every day, you or like, you know, maybe every week, like you go in and you like, you know, actually use the site, right? So let's say like, you know, these are the kind of things that you do. You go in, you go and look at employees and contractors. You go and see if you can like switch to 2019. You see if you can like, you know, download a particular form, uh, code, and then you maybe like, you know, go back, like can you search by employees? I'm gonna pick my own name here. Cool, I can download that W2. Can I go back to uh, the company forms? Can I download like some forms there? Let's pick up this like 941. That's kind of cool, right? Like, no, let's say like that is that is one simple QA test that you do on the site. And that is entirely your responsibility. And you're supposed to flag some issues you see on the site uh, for site's operation to the engineering team. Now let's see how one might turn this uh, like simple workflow into an automation, right? So this is the site that we want to deal with, right? And let's go back to Warp Drive now. So in Warp Drive, like how does one create a test automation? Uh, it's actually really simple. What you do is you go in and you like, you know, just like say, okay, this is the site I want to start with. Then like, let's say I want to say like download W2s. Like that's the, um, that's the test that I want to create. And then I simply start recording and you know, it's going to throw up a tiny widget. It's going to have like a standard recording like thing. But the interesting thing is that it actually does not record the screen. It only records action. So right now I can like, you know, just be on the screen and like nothing is being recorded. So, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and uh, start playing around, right? Like, you know, do the workflow. I want to be a little careful here because, you know, clicks are recorded, right? Like, so um, employees and contractors, this is what I want to do. I want to go into 2019, see if I can download this PDF. Cool, did that. Um, that is doable. I go in and I type my name. Um, I can download that W2. Yes, I can. Nice. Go into federal. Can I go in and like you now search for 941? Cool, these forms are there. Can I open up that form? Nice. Okay. And then let's say that's it, right? A very simple like test on the site. Site's working fine. I go ahead and save that. Now, what WebDrive does is like it'll take that data and like you saw that it was processing. It has turned my actions, like process them, turn them into an automation right off the bat. Okay. So now if I click warp, it's gonna breeze through that and it's gonna go really fast. So let's like, you know, try to follow along. But if I click warp now, it'll do the actions that I just did just in like fast forward mode, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Cool, click warp, it's gonna open up Gusto. It's gonna like, you know, probably hopefully navigate. Okay, tax documents, employees, 2019, open up the form, call 2020, types my name, opens up the form. Closes the form, goes to federal, types 941, opens the form, blue, close the form, goes back, done. Okay, so you took the manual test that you had and suddenly turned it into a quick QA automation. Nice. Now I'm gonna like, you know, maybe share it and move it to the team. Nice, and I have actually like earlier just created a whole bunch of uh, other warps as well. Let's go ahead and like run those. Like, let's see what that does, okay? So this one, again, like I did the exact same thing. I just recorded and then boom, 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 boom. Categories, testing categories, typing something. Nice, 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 does that, done. Go back, I wanna create time of policy. I wanna check that. Let's go ahead and do that. Boom, 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 testing, time off. Policies, create the policy, type something new, new policy. 
So we tested the time off policy. Now let's see like new, new employee benefits. Go wrap what that. There we go. It's gonna go in, boom, boom, boom. Opens up the site, goes into benefits. So I click this, like I wanna like see an estimate for a new employee. Like well, what is it gonna do? Test that out, change the dates, blah, done, right? Like. So a whole bunch of workflows all like you can just breeze through them in like seconds um so that's what it's at right like so you have this teams folder you can create more folders and like no we can also imagine these being like run in like one batch that can happen um what i showed you right here were browser workflows right um and that is uh that is very easily doable uh, but you could also do actions on the desktop, like, you know, maybe you have uh, credentials or some test data stored on a local file, like, you know, that you can do, you can do cross application stuff, like, you no, know, maybe you want to test Gusto across into operating with another site, let's say it holds like some timesheet data, some other site that does that, and you want to move data around, that's also doable, you can create warps around that. And we didn't do it, but it's also like what you can do is once you have the warp, you can like, you know, go in and edit them. And like what it'll do is it'll give you a step by step. You can put breakpoints, you can like, you know, add annotations if you need to. And we can also imagine like you have this history, like you no know, run history of things. And uh, if some runs fails, like it could send you notifications. So that is a whirlwind tour of how warp drive can help you turn manual QA tests into automated regression suites within minutes. Hope you found this useful and hope to see your QA team on WAP Drive soon.